Hey guys, it's Jarek the Dragon from Red Dragon Airsoft, and we're not going to be doing an accuracy test. I'm simply standing next to the targets because it's raining outside, lovely Portland, so I'm going to be undercover. But this is going to be a chrono of probably one of the most anticipated guns. I've gotten re requests like crazy to do videos of this gun, which is kind of surprising. Uh, take this moment to remind people I don't accept requests because I get so many of them, so please don't leave a comment going, can you do a review of this video? I get too many of those. Anyway, moving on, Chrono. So, I got the magazine fully gassed up with propane, and I got 20 rounds with 0.2 gram BBs. If you guys want to buy this gun, there's a link down below to RDA's website, and there's also a link down below to RDA's forum where you can talk about this gun, this video, and talk to the community, including me. Alright, so feet per second first. Uh, something to say, it's only 60 degrees outside. It's raining, and uh, the temperature isn't exactly the best for gas guns, but it's pretty much usual Portland. Uh, so, feet per second, propane, point twos. <laughs> 450 feet per second. Three eight six. Three nine seven. Three eight three. Three seven eight. Three eight seven. Three eight six. Three seven six. Okay, so despite the uh, 450 feet per second first shot, that's gonna hurt like crazy. Uh, this gun will probably average around 400 feet per second when it's a little bit warmer outside. On a 60 degree day in Portland, it'll be about 380, uh, but it seems to be 400 feet per second is gonna be the average, and that's uh, actually about perfect. It's perfect for woodland, and you're never gonna be taking this gun to CQB unless you want to knock people out or poke their eye out. Uh, but let's go full auto since this is an M14. It does have the full auto capability. It's gonna be hard to hold down the recoil. Uh, but let's go rounds per minute. Try to hold this thing down so I can actually do it. Five hundred sixty six. Five sixty. Five seventy. Five seventy. Five seven. Five hundred sixty-six. Five fifty-five. And I think that's all the shooting we need to do uh, on a sixty-degree day. It seems to be averaging about five hundred and sixty feet per second. But on a warmer day, it'll probably be around six hundred six fifty. Uh, so let's say it averages about six hundred rounds a minute. Which you may think that sounds lame, but the bolt on this thing is giant. I mean, this thing is absolutely massive when it comes straight down to the bolt. <laughs> Getting 600 rounds per minute out of it, you can't complain. And this thing does have some giant recoil with it. If you guys want to see that, go watch the slow motion video of this gun shooting. Alright, so now it's time to shoot a can. We're about 20 feet away. Semi-automatic. Take about three shots. Whoops. That's on full auto. All right, so it's going straight through. Let's go full auto. And we're out of BBs. And here we are. This is what only 20 rounds did with the can. Let's see if I can even get it off the nail here. There we go. It's off the nail. So we got a few BBs in here. And it's a pretty shredded can. Turn the camera around so you guys can have better lighting, but <laughs> here's proof that this is a strong gun. See, the BBs just went straight on through. They're the exit wounds, and here's the entrance wounds. Not only is this gun loud and intimidating, it's powerful. That's, that's really gonna hurt. All right, so this gun puts out quite a bit of performance. The gun's shooting about 400 feet per second, and the rate of fire is somewhere around 600 rounds a minute. Uh, granted, it'll probably raise a bit, maybe up to 700 rounds a minute on a warm day. It's only 60 degrees outside, not the best day when it comes to gas blowbacks. But, 
So far, this gun doesn't even show any signs of, like, freezing. The magazine is still, well, not cold. So, I'm not sure how well it does for gas consumption, but it seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, we'll be able to see how nice it does for gas consumption in the accuracy test, since this is the only mag I have for it. But, uh, moving on, let's stick with the chrono here. 400 feet per second, 600 rounds a minute, possibly up to 700. That's pretty good. This thing's gonna hurt. You saw what it did to the can. Again, if you want to buy this, it has a giant amount of cool factor because it's because it is blowback. There's a link down below where you can buy it to RDA's website. There's also a link down below to RDA's form where you can talk to the community, including me. So I'll see you guys next video. Man, what is with Portland? It literally doesn't rain all day long, I open my door and it starts downpouring. Let me make my videos!